Buenas dan saludo manelujo a Jesucristo. Half a day, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This Sunday, we hear one of the most famous stories in Scripture, the story of the wedding feast in Cana, probably well known to many as it is an event that we can all relate to even in this modern day. The wedding feast, always elaborate and very well planned, usually months in advance, and attended by the closest family and friends, those who mean the most to the couple coming together to celebrate a most joyous occasion. We hear today how Mary and Jesus, along with some of his disciples, were invited and somehow the celebration was running low on wine. To run out of wine in such a big celebration would have been disastrous to the married couple and the families on each side. It would have been a great embarrassment. Jesus and Mary were probably not the most important people in the list of invitees, but probably distant relatives or friends. But for some reason, Mary was made aware of the situation and she takes it to her son Jesus. And we hear the human response of a young Jesus as he asks his mother, what the situation meant to them. His time had not yet come to reveal his presence as the Messiah, and Jesus had not worked any miracles. Mother Mary overlooks Jesus' response and tells the servants of the feast, do as Jesus tells them. Because of her special place in the plan of God's salvation for us, in her privilege as the mother of God's only son, Jesus obeys his mother, turning the water into wine and perform, perform his first sign, revealing to us his divinity and mission and spark the faith of his own disciples. Jesus, yielding to the requests of Mary, must have seen the Father's will at work in her, as her request was not for herself, but for the good of others. In the life and image of Mary as the mother of the church, we see how the acceptance of God's will in our lives may bring about the miracles of God's grace in the life of those around us. That in each one of us, we have been endowed by different gifts of the Holy Spirit, which we hear in our second reading of this Sunday in the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Different gifts, but from the same Spirit for the one purpose of serving God in the building of His kingdom. This gift was meant to bring joy into our lives and the lives of those who are around us. God does not mean for us to live dull and unfulfilled lives in this world. The presence of Jesus and Mary in the wedding party of Cana brought about fulfillment in the celebration of a new beginning to the wedding couple. After the servants had filled the six jugs of water to the brim, Jesus tells them to draw water out and to take it to the head servant to try. The head servant, not knowing where this wine had come from, calls the groom over to him and tells him that the best wine is usually served at the start of the celebration and not reserved till the end. Our Lord, my dear friends, wants us to have the best wine in our lives, not the ordinary wine that is drank every day in life. In the unique gifts that the Holy Spirit has given us, we are able to draw out the best wine in each other when we live out these gifts in the activities of our day-to-day -day lives. It is in our sharing of these gifts, my brothers and sisters, that we bring humanity to fulfillment in the building of God's kingdom and can be realized in our listening to our Heavenly Mother today in the words of the gospel regarding her son as she tells us, do whatever he tells you. Have a blessed and wonderful day 
Si Jules and Fabinet DC, God bless.